What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and we are going out to do something we haven't done here in about a week or so and we're going to pop out here to IA and get a live walk around in. Big news, I got my jump pack with me so that changed and uh, we're going to go out and see what we can uh, what we can find. I need to get back get back into it man. I'm, I'm still um, slightly under the weather we're supposed to hit 110 degrees today so it is early it is currently 94 and it's rapidly increasing i figure by the time we get there it's probably going to be at 100 but we're supposed to get to 110 degrees i think they said today we'll see what happens but um yeah man fun 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 times but let's go out here and see what we could uh pick out see if we see anything cool a lot of you guys want to see trucks i know a lot of you guys want to see rvs and depending on the heat and what the temperature situation is looking like we might be able to get videos in for both of you guys today but anyways uh roll with that beautiful intro <laughs> So yes, I do have another fault code on my dash and it does say passenger restraint system. I'm an idiot. I was bringing some coffee early, early this morning to my quote unquote job. Uh, the PR thing I have going on with Stellantis and I went there and I stopped at Pink Box Donuts. If you don't know what Pink Box is, it's kind of like a local Las Vegas thing. I bought a couple dozen donuts and a bag of coffee it has a cap on it. Supposedly not supposed to leak. Well... It leaked all in my passenger seat, and I'm guessing the module is wet. Now, what I'm hoping is, with the 110 degree weather today, if I crack these windows while we're out here doing the walk around, my hope is that it will uh, evaporate all of that liquid. You know, it is the desert, so maybe it'll evaporate that liquid out of the seat. Um, I, I wiped up and mopped up everything I could out of it as much as I could. But it's, uh, yeah, it's not a good situation. And, I, and, I, and it's so aggravating to just see that nonstop, you know, see that stupid error nonstop. So I'm hoping it, it cle clears itself up. And if not, well, I guess I got to just deal with it. All right, guys. So welcome on in. We are now here at the illustrious, beautiful IAA here in hot as balls las vegas oh somebody's in my parking spot look at that well would you look at that <laughs> all right so we are in the building now we just gotta uh, suit up and do all that good stuff and hit the yard all right guys we're out here welcome on back to tk's garage and today we're gonna go through and uh, take a look at some interesting vehicles. We are out here at beautiful, lovely IAA. Look at that. Um, we're out here at the beautiful, lovely IAA. We're gonna walk through, see if we can find anything that's uh, interesting. We see people picking up their cars and whatnot already. And we're gonna see if uh, there's anything I wanna put my hands on, something I might wanna pick up. Well, it looks like they've been moving some units. We got some empty space out here. That's that's usually pretty rare. But we're gonna go ahead and get directly into it. And that Ford Escape Titanium is on blocks. Yeah. All right, we are out here in here like swimwear. We have a uh, Audi. What is this? A6. Oof. That has definitely seen better days. They got hit all the way down that side, boy. Oof. I just saw the sticker on the don't go inside, though. Still had the paper tags on it, man. Somebody probably didn't even get the damn loan funded before that thing was destroyed. Just wow. All right, guys, we are keeping it moving now. Like I told you, we're going to get back to what we were doing. We're going to look at some of these vehicles. We will jump into a live auction today. 
we'll take a look at what some of these vehicles are selling for at IAA. And I think, like, while I may do the auctions that are based here, I'm also going to start doing them from different cities. So you get an idea of what they're actually selling for. You know what I'm saying? Whew, my phone is going off, boy. Somebody must have done something. Alrighty. <laughs> All rolling. Whew. All right, against my better judgment, we're going to look at this one. And this is a Range Rover. And it's being offered by my favorite company. <laughs> Pedal. <laughs> oh, I bet this thing is 19 levels of F. Oh, tinted tail lights. The airbag suspension is hammered. But that could just be because it sat a while. Let's take a look at it. Throw the jump pack on it if necessary. I love that pearl paint though. Got to be honest, it's got very minimal rock chips and stuff for its year. And the body panels and stuff look pretty decent. I see a little bit of a bow or a little bit of a snap out on that. Does she have keys though? That is the question. No keys, huh? Well, I guess we won't waste any time on it then, will we? Let me look in here just in case. Because you never know. Sometimes I'll throw the keys in the... No keys. No keys in the door. All right. Well, I guess that's why it's listed as a non-runner, huh? No run, no drive. Huh. No keys. Well, that was another quick, quick and easy look and keep it moving. Keep looking to see what if we can find something out. Damn, that Prius got stripped. I mean, it is, with gas prices so high, y'all that have Priuses that are kiki and are laughing and shit, I'm just going to be honest with you, be careful, because people are, you know, you, I know y'all be getting got for y'all's catalytic converters on a regular basis, but uh, that ain't the only thing. <laughs> Ooh, this poor Jaguar. Whew. Yeah. That thing is completely and utterly, say it with me, smashed. All right, I want to find something that's actually viable, something I can buy and flip. Look at that. I think we got one right there. Look at that Buick. Ooh, whatever the remaining of that is, is real close to that. Ooh, this red, oh, bullet holes. You know, nothing, nothing makes me more excited about a car than some bullet holes man look at this the bullet came in here let me show you where it went the bullet came in here ricochet went around the engine and it stopped right there it did not go through and i'm willing to bet there's probably a bullet shoved up in there that window is also missing and i'm guessing somebody probably got shot and killed in this car so uh, i'm interested I know you're like, DK, you're so wrong. I'm interested. Oh. I got to go on to the other side. I'm interested. I mean, hey. Oh, I can't. I can't. We can't even open the... Oh. We can't open the car. And nobody got in. It's all checked off. Nothing, 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 nothing. We're not having the best luck at looking at cars today. Let me just keep my ass moving. I'm going to cut the video. Look at this old 5.0. How about this? Can we get the, can we, will the vanilla ice Mustang work, man? <sighs> I think this is kind of cool. I like this body style of Mustang. This thing was like, this thing was like that. You were that dude if you had this car when I was a kid, man. This is badass. I love the big hood scoop on it. This could be an interesting little track car. What do you guys think? take a look at it. it says no runner drive or nothing oh I was about to say 
I swear to God, if I run into another car and we can't get anything out of it, I'm going to be pissed. Whew. Wow, it's already hot. I can My sweat is already dripping off me like crazy. It's so hot out here. All right, let's get in here and see oh, what the situation is. Is that 29,000? Yeah, so five-digit odometer. So this thing's probably got like 129 or 229,000 miles on it. Let's see if she's got any power. Fairly clean in the interior. Oh, she's got power. Listed as a non-runner. She's listed as a non-runner, and it runs. I didn't even have to do anything to it. Didn't even have to put the jump pack on it. Hold on. Window controllers are here. Do they work? Somewhat not great, but they do work. How about that one? Yep. I see they got it all braced up with paper and stuff, so it must rattle like crazy. No headliner. She's in rough shape, but she runs. It's got good oil pressure. That power steering pump sounds horrible. Got brakes. Yep. I think this thing's got a V8. What do you guys think? Let's see if we can get a look under the hood. The thing that's crazy is I don't know if we are going to be able to look under the hood because I'm not seeing a hood pull here. Let me get out and take a better look. Oh, boy. Pop you guys up right here while I'm uh, investigating the scene. Whew. All right. Boy, it is going to be a hot one today. Oh, wow, that door. Ain't nobody going to quick open that door and try to get nothing like carjack you with this. Let me tell you that right now. Hood, there it is. There we go. Let's take a look under the hood. See what she's working with. Sorry for the shaky cam, guys. I do have her in the gorilla pod, but you know. Oh, shit. There we go. Try this again. I don't know if someone will be like, TK, you should just edit that stuff out. Nah, that's not really authentic to do that. So where my dude Bra Brailless for his rides at? There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I am all about this one, guys. Let me tell you right now. I am all about this one. Look at this, man. Look at this thing of beauty. 5.0. That alternator is brand friggin' new. Is that say what performance on it? PA performance, probably just a rebuilt alternator. Batteries fresh. Look, the fan, look at the fan. The fan is brand new. Somebody put work in on this and they don't even look at the coil. Wow. These plug wires and stuff look like they're all new, like fresh little lines. I mean, even the mass airflow sensor. Like, a lot of this stuff in here has been replaced. Somebody was really putting work in, and they gave this thing up. Now, the power steering pump, which is right there, doesn't look like it would be too much of a bitch to replace. <sighs> See, I've never done hydraulic stuff, though, so... Oh, I guess that's a lie. I have done stuff on uh, an airplane before, so I guess it's the same concept huh washer fluid what's the brake fluid look like because the brakes kind of didn't feel great ooh that could be something brake fluid is almost non-existent um i don't know what the situation is with those struts i don't know if they're supposed to be sticking out that high this would be a great project car i mean look the radiator looks like it's brand new the fan so somebody did a coolant system. This is a 5.0 high output engine. I mean, 
I bet you this son of a bitch runs, man. I bet you it does, man. And it probably just needs a brake system, and that uh, because I uh, maybe the brake system and the and the power steering system are connected, but like all the line, you can see where they've done work on this car. And the electrical stuff I'd be concerned about, the brittle wires and stuff, I don't really see it. I don't see the peeling wires or the brittle stuff that you would normally see. I like this. I like this a lot. And I think we could do something with this. We're going to, and, and I know, I know you're going to bust my balls because it says pedal. TK, it's a pedal car. Don't do it. I know. I know. But look at it, man. Look at this, man. Could you imagine this with a fresh set of paint you know just a fresh paint job on it and I, you know like maybe vanilla ice white to joint you know oh i see a little damage back here in the rear quarter okay i see some more over here all right but that's not like i that could be pulled out body work done on this i i think this is i think this is a savable car especially where it runs man especially where it runs like it like this is I don't know man this uh this definitely has my interest let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section down below because uh i like it and guys it's not every day you see something like uh like this here i mean and somebody's already done a lot of work to it like the the coolant system the plugs the wires the belt looks like it's brand new the tensioner pulley the fan i mean you're probably looking at a power steering pump and a brake system and then it's all cosmetic after that i think this could be an absolute beast i think this could be a massive 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 steal for somebody i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below on this, because I, I really think this could be uh, something special. All right, ladies and gentlemen, keeping it moving. Friend, like, like, see, guys, look, if you can't handle it, if your girlfriend is trying to find her cell phone on the floorboard of your side of the car, wink, wink, and you can't handle that, don't do it. <laughs> just, just don't do it. You will roll your shit or crash. I just saw a story about that in the news too. Guy went right up the back of another car, smashed the gas right at that moment. Oof. <laughs> Damn. Hey, there's another Mustang. I wonder if y'all still doing the, are y'all still doing the drinking game? Are y'all taking a drink every time y'all see a Mustang? I can't do that out here. I'd be really fucked up. They have real alcohol out here in Vegas. They don't water down their drinks, damn it. Unless you're playing slots on the floor, and then, you know, those drinks are mostly mixtures and water. But I digress. <laughs> I digress. We're going to keep it moving because I did see there's a couple. So this old Mercedes, you know what, we'll look at this one first. And then there's a green Grand Am. You can see it down there. I don't want to see, but this is definitely... One I want to see. I love these classic Mercedes. Look at this. Oh my God. No, it's not. Another pedal car. Oh. You know what? The auction gods are looking down on me today and they're saying, TK, eat a dick. <laughs> oh shit. I don't even know what that was. Like a hawk, a sparrow. What kind of bird was that? This one's a uh, Chrysler 400, right? Or it's a LeBaron, but... Oh, a New Yorker. It's a New Yorker. That's interesting. We'll check this one out, too. Ooh! Somebody uh, smashed this poor little Audi. Well, let's take a look at this 420 SEL. I wanted to look at all the body panels and make sure she was clear and clean. She definitely looks like that. Tape on that back window, which means it doesn't go all the way up. That sucks. All right, let's see if she's open and if she has keys. What I like about these old Mercedes, you know how they say they don't, they don't make things like they used to? They really don't. Think about this. There's no way in hell you're finding a BMW or Mercedes 
in the last say five years that's been run 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 with a ton of miles on it that will have an interior that still looks as nice i'm sorry they just did things different back in the day i mean there's a little hole right there on the bolster but nothing major right i mean she's freaking clean man all right let's take a look at it oh oh the seats are so comfortable and it's hot as balls oh she's got power stop it wait a minute no, 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 hold on. All right, we have a jump pack. She does have 230,000 miles on it. Let's throw the jump pack on it. And we got a nice Sony aftermarket radio. I like this. I like this a lot. What are we looking like on fuel? All right, a little bit over half. All right, let's pop the hood and... uh All right, let me pop this hood and see if we can get to the battery. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. We'll go ahead and take our jump pack here and see if we get the little hood thing that pops out. Lift her up. Ooh, always love seeing that electrical tape on the uh, intake when the, I don't know why people just don't pay to fix their, uh, you know, fix their uh, intake. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So their air inlet have like broken. This happens over time, like this plastic will get brittle and it breaks. And what they do is they just, they just tape it, which is gonna cause a leak and you know, could it cause it to run like crap? Eh, maybe. It also could just suck air straight in here and you can just move that out of the way, but you're introducing other stuff to the engine. She is very clean under the hood. I am shocked belts all look good i don't see any major leaks all right let's throw the jump pack on her and see if uh see if she'll fire up for us huh i think that's uh in order all right we got a fully charged jump pack it's first time i've actually charged this gulu jump pack I almost had a falling out with this company too. They were like, you haven't ever published any videos on this. And I was like, I use this jump pack to jumpstart all the damn cars. What are you talking about? Um, but that's just a case of, you know, they, you know how they say, we love your videos. I love companies that do that. We love your videos and you really don't watch a damn thing. So stop lying. <laughs> just say you want some free promo and you're going to send me a free product. You know, I, I appreciate the honesty much more than the dick riding. You know what I'm saying? All right, we got our positive, our negative. We'll power her on. She's on. We'll hit the boost. All right, boost is ready to go. And now we'll get over here to the car and we'll see if she'll start. All right, sweetheart. There it is. You're right there. Come on, girl. Come on. She's running, but barely. You hear that? Almost like a bad fuel pump or... Maybe that boss, I don't know if this has that boss system. She's idling, she's running. Let's let her run for a minute. I'm gonna let her idle for a minute. She is running, but not great. Not great at all. Whoo, that took a lot of juice out of my jump back. Oh my God. She's running a little bit better. She's running a little bit better. It sounds like she's just starting to get that bad gas out of the way. There she goes. She's starting to come up. All right, let me put you guys right here while I get my jump pack and make sure she's off. All right. Seems to be running good now. I mean, not great. It clearly has a misfire. 
but it's the RPMs have come up and now that she's running you can hear the exhaust exhaust leak down there let's see if she uh ABS but no other check engine light or anything on here there she, she's running Five thousand RPMs, like it ain't nothing. She's definitely got a misfire. I bet you there's a problem with one of the plugs. One of the plugs are probably fouled or something else. But she definitely runs. She definitely, definitely runs. Got another window switch here. Somebody was taking care of it. I wonder if the seats work. Yep, seats work. What about the windows. As my buddy Randy would say, the important window works. What about this one? Yeah, man. Everything except that back window. I wonder if the sunroof opens. It does. And it works. All right. Well, it could be a case of bad gas. Um, it could also... It's just misfiring so hard. Like, watch when I get on the gas. That... Da -da 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 -da. Hear it? Right there. You heard it that time. It almost. And yes. It's 103 effing degrees. 104 now out here. It's hot. Alright. There you have. Oh the AC works. Oh shit. The air conditioner works. I'm dead. In a car this old. Stop it. It's ice cold. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> we're going to chill here for a minute. But there you have it. Let me know what you guys think about this one. I mean, this is really just another one of those diamonds in the rough, man. Might need a little work, you know. I don't see the Bosch stuff on here, but... Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I see the Bosch ABS system on here now. That explains the ABS light. Well... Maybe some plugs and wires and stuff, and she could be possibly a good runner. I mean, these cars were always bulletproof, man. They just ran forever, and it's got the rims on it that I really like. I had these. I think mine were bigger, though, a bigger size of that style. They were the AMG ones on my E-Class. I loved them. Beautiful car, man. You know, and where this thing is from, pedal, and people know about that. And this is listed as a non-runner. Uh, it's probably going to go for super cheap. So we'll see what happens. Oh, you know, probably not leaving my jump pack would be a great idea. I don't know what the hell that is. Looks like part of a headlight. All right. Throw my jump pack in the bag. This thing has performed pretty good. I mean, it's 100 and something friggin' degrees out here. 104 currently super what we call super effing hot all right that ac really helped though gave me a, like a little refreshed legs so to speak to do more stuff now i know you're gonna say tk why would you care about this grand dam oh look there's another um old mercedes that's a car donation we might look at that one we might, or I might leave that for next time. Here's another car donated vehicle. This definitely is not stock paint. I don't think so. I don't remember this car coming in this color. Pontiac Grand Am, 1997. The head gasket blowing king. These things blew head gaskets like it wasn't shit. Yeah, that's aftermarket paint, but it is, it is nicely done. I will say that. It is definitely nicely done. Headlights are not too oxidated. Usually they're just yellow at this point, you know? Yes, I know you probably, guys want to probably see this uh, wonderful Jeep Grand Cherokee. And no, it's not a uh, SRT that I can tell. It's from USA. It's been completely effed. And it is a really bad bio. Yeah, it's just a 4x4. Yeah, you can see this one was completely smashed. Wow. Alrighty. Well, 
Let's get into her. <laughs> Giggity. Um, <laughs> and see. That's, you know, I like that, man. Today's looking up. You know, normally when I open the car and you start to hear me sniff, that means I'm about to puke. Something's nasty. But this had a very pleasant, like, woman wearing perfume smell. So this was probably a chick's car. There you go. Well, let's uh, jump on in and see what we can find. We have keys. Does she have power, though? Does have power. Only 97,000 miles on this car, too. Wow. Instantly fired up. Holy crap. Never seen one do that. I mean, that was that was instant, guys. We'll let her run for a minute and see if she gets hot. Check the brakes. Goes in the gear. Goes in the gear. Oh, yeah. That's a good little flip car right here. This is definitely a good little flip car. Now, these are the weirdest looking... Uh, window buttons I've seen okay this window does work that's a positive the passenger one does not I'm wondering oh these are aftermarket somebody put power windows on this aftermarket there's the old holes for the cranks so somebody put aftermarket power windows tweeters somebody took care of this let's see if the AC works because it's hot max AC Yep. All righty. Well, let's take a look under the hood. No smoke or nothing coming out of the uh, exhaust, so that's a win. You know, you look for that white head gasket smoke. I wonder what color this car originally was. White. 2.4 liter twin cam. got a shoddy tensioner pulley I can tell you that you can hear it or you can see it shaking and rattling hear it but overall thing looks pretty damn good man this thing looks pretty damn good and I bet you this thing goes for almost no money I mean, it looks clean or whatever, but it's it's got good tires on it. Like, this is a car I could literally buy, put hubcaps on it, wash it, wax it, armor all the tires, and I'm, you know, I probably pay maybe 1500 maybe, yeah, probably 1500 out the door for this car with the current market, and I'd probably sell it for easily three because it just runs you know that tensioner pulley is definitely going to have to be done I don't know who decided to put a cigarette lighter way up up here but cool whatever I guess that's cool for your radar detector though right radio work is it a woman in her home yes radio works AC is ice damn cold man it is very rare to find a car like this and somebody upgraded it they put nicer speakers in it they put power windows in it. This did not come with power windows. This is really nice. And at 97,000 miles on this. And the next oil change isn't due until December 8th of 22 at 102, 389. The temperature is right where it needs to be. We've been letting this thing run and idle. She's not running hot. Yeah, this is a decent, this would be a decent pickup for sure. Yeah, I'm adding this to my watch list. I, I have to. Even if it's not, it's not something I want, but it's something I know I could buy and I could sell it the same friggin' day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could clean it, throw hubcaps on it, whoo, and make a quick 1500 or two grand off this car like this. Done. Gone. You know, if I really wanted to be crazy, if I really wanted to make some money out of it, I probably could throw a set of rims on it, which is what it looks like they did here. They had rims on it. And then put the steel rims back on it but 
I could probably throw a set of rims on it. I bet you I could get 30, I bet you I could get like a cheap $500 set of rims and tires on it, like nice looking mags or something, you know, it's like nice rims, 18s or something. I bet you I could get 3500 out of this sucker. And that dent up front on the fender, I bet you that pops out. I bet you this dent, yeah, I can get in there. You can probably pull that right out. Well, let me know what you guys think about this one and what we've looked at so far today in the comments. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for the live walk around portion of today's video. Uh, we're gonna, what we're going to do now is we'll get into the auction. One of the things that people ask me the most are, you know, well, how much do these cars sell for, TK? I mean, they're cool to look at and all that other stuff, but how much are they actually selling for? Well, we can find out together. We're going we're gonna to jump into a live auction. We're going to record it. We're going to look at some of the vehicles that are being sold. And then you guys can get an idea of how much these vehicles at IAA are selling for. Uh, but with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the live auction. And then we'll uh, we'll get to the uh, to the end. See y'all here at the end. Oh man! Fourteen twenty-five on this one. Oh my God! I'm floating around the screen. Bending. I don't know about that one. That's kind of bullshit. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. Look how nasty the inside of that car is, man. <coughs> I don't know, 169,000 miles. Ugh. Sale, sale bending. bending. So it's not even a pure sale. That CRV is done. There's some good parts there, though. You definitely could probably. <clears throat> they're only at 550. Just the interior and the taillights, like, you made your money back. That bitch is a run and drive? Wow. That don't make no sense. <coughs> Fail bending. These are ten thousand dollar throwaway cars. Exactly. Fail bending. Four hundred and twenty five bucks. Damn. Twelve grand on that, huh? Y'all really like the Maximus, huh? Oh wow. Wait a minute. Well, damn. I feel bad for the person that got the bid in at the beginning <laughs> and watched it ride all the way to eight grand. Damn, damn. Yeah, I love how they do the little low, low miles. The little pop up right below my face, low, mi low miles. Yo, they need to stop, man. Sale, Sale pending. pending. Sale pending. Hyundai Accent. I got to get some stuff ready for the gym, guys. We're going to let this continue to run. I'm still here. You'll still hear me. But that's hilarious. I don't give a fuck on the dashboard. I like this car already. Clearly, you don't give a fuck. Look at the whole front of that car. <laughs> We'll let that do its thing. Oh my God. And they ran that thing up to 1700. That's what's crazy. It's when I see this kind of stuff, man, like, I don't know, man. It's just like they be bidding stuff up just to bid stuff up, you know? It's like, why? Why bid it up? I don't understand. <coughs> it's not like you're gonna fix that shit. I mean, you could. 
But is it worth it though? That's the thing. Zayo man. bending. People just be doing what, just doing anything, man. Crazy. Zayo bending. bending. Crazy. That's not bad. It's under a grant. Reserve yeah, places where licenses, licensing, licenses are required do a little bit better, in my opinion, than um, where it's open to the public. Because then people just be bidding shit up just to bid shit up. You know what I'm saying? Well, you have to have a valid license. Like a dealer license from that state. It makes it a little bit... Time, time extended. extended. Get a little bit better deal. Like here in Nevada, for example. Time, Time extended. extended. Sold. Sale pending. You're the next contestant on overpay. Time extended. They'll overpay for a PT cruiser. That don't surprise me. Sale pending. Oh boy. Sale, Sale pending. pending. Sale pending. Kind of slightly shocking, if, if you ask me. Slightly shocking.
Time, Time extended. extended. Reserve, Reserve off. off. Reserve off. You overpaid. Time, Time extended. extended. Oh, shit. Sold. sold. Boom, sold. That's what I'm talking about. Sold. <clears throat> Y'all see the Petty Roosevelt over here looking all pretty. Anyways, it's time for me to do the next step of my day, which is, uh, you know, kill myself out on the yard, get hot, sweaty, do all that. And then I got to come to the gym. So that's what we're doing here now. I'm going to go in here, hit this weight pile, hit these weights, and then uh, continue on with my day. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think by hitting the thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And I will uh, do my best to catch you guys very soon on the next one. Peace.